Hello, good morning, and how do you do? Today, one for people who want to get more into things, a little bit more knowledge, not a lot. Got to keep it simple. Diodes, what do they do? Let's get into it. First of all, can I say that this is not meant to be an in-depth and scientifically based episode. If you want the in-depth science of physics, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube that will give you that. But you know, it is really for the purist or the geeks. This is more for people who just want to know, what does that do? So we're going to start off with a diode tube or valve, as it's known in the UK. These are made of glass, they've got plates inside them and they get hot and they glow and they're very dangerous. They do a good job, but they got rid of them as soon as they could. They replace it with something like this, a solid state diode. If you're of a certain age, you'll remember buying equipment with the word solid state written on it. What it meant was they had these in. Initially they were germanium, then they turned to silicon because silicon was more temperature stable. This is also a diode, but this is being used in a big power supply. It is most, much the same as the original one that I showed you. Next we have an LED. These were almost invented by a mistake. They noticed light was being emitted from silicon diodes under certain circumstances, so they capitalised on it, and that's what we see today in televisions and in all sorts of things, LEDs. And next we have this. This is a diode. Well, actually, sorry, no, 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 no. This is a Zener diode, and these are very special. These diodes are very, very special. All except the Zener have the same properties. Electricity can only pass through them in one direction. The LED gives out light, which makes it a bit special, but the Zener is really special. It allows all of the electricity to go in one direction, but only some of it to go in the other direction. So for some of you, the idea out there is that they're thinking, well, if it, if it doesn't do it, what will the rest do? What's the point of it? And this is where I'll show you. This is useful because the reverse voltage is set in manufacture. So if you apply 10 volts apply to a Zener, one way you'll get 10 volts out. Do it in reverse and you'll get 5 volts out. Actually, if you apply 6 volts to a 5 volt Zener, the Zener will pass 1 volt away, and that will give 5 volts, which will be ignored. That's the sort of thing you use in a voltage regulator like this. This is the simplest sort of voltage regulator, but quite simply, whatever voltage you put in on the left-hand side, the Zener will shunt down any excess above 5 volts, and so the output will always be 5 volts. And that's just what you need if you want a 5 volt power supply. You might want to push it up a bit, but that will work. It's been used that way for years. OK, all the others pass electricity in only one direction. They are all used to stop backwards flow in numerous things. They detect the sound in radios, convert mains voltage into DC. LEDs glow and can be used as lights. The world needs diodes. As you can see, the uses are many, but beyond this video. You only need to know what they do, not the final word in the science and practice of manufacture, etc. It's like owning a car. You need to know where the engine is, but you do not need to know exactly how it works or what it does. So let's keep it simple. Way. Yeah, sorry, but I felt an attack of the geek coming on. This is the symbol for a diode. The electricity goes only one way, and it, I always thought it was handy that it's a bit like an arrow and it points the way the electricity goes. What should be remembered, though, is that experts will come on and say, oh, you haven't mentioned current f and electron flow and all the rest of it. You don't need to know that. All you need to know at this point is what that does. Hopefully at this point you know an awful lot more about diodes and you haven't fallen asleep. Anyway, any questions, drop them in the comments below. And remember, life need not be complicated. So let's keep it simple. If you've got anything out of this video, bop a like, bop a share, bop anything. Any questions, put them in the comments. I don't know what's going on unless you tell me. I'll try and get back to you. There'll be another interesting video pop on this screen. Click on there, go and enjoy yourself. Bye bye for now.